Our Fernando Suarez was among the good people of Arkansas recently, taking a look at this race. What was it like on the ground? What's going on? Well, I mean, I agree with Mark. She clearly Blanche Lincoln's up in the polls, but the energy down there was anything but. I mean, the, Bill Halter has a lot of energy going on. There's, there were a lot of supporters outside of the debate hall. When I was there, Lincoln had nobody. People were coming by scrambling just to get a few signs up there. <clears throat> Following the debate, the media just swarmed Halter, and you saw Lincoln standing on the other side of the room just trying to shake hands with a few people. I mean, it really reminded me of the final days of the Clinton campaign, where there was, there was a campaign that seemed to be losing steam. The Hillary Clinton campaign. The Hillary campaign, Clinton yeah. campaign, that is. And it seemed to be losing steam, and just, you know, President Obama, or candidate Obama at the time, had all the, the energy and all the support behind him. So she may be up in the polls. I don't know if that energy is going to translate into more turnout, but that's what I was seeing when I was down there. Okay. Well, and Fernando has a piece that we're going to take a look at right now. This is how we're going to win this election, one and two voters at a time. That's the only I'm way. not sure we can buy everybody apple pie, though. <laughs> it may seem like it's been all apple pie and ice cream. Like me and Monty, hot diggity. But the Arkansas Senate race tastes more like sour apples than sugary sweet. And the biggest fight is between candidates in the same party. I have not run a negative campaign. I have run a co comparative campaign. Your campaign, not third party groups, your campaign has put out seven negative mail on me. Bill said in a speech in Pennsylvania, which was he did believe that you could invest Social Security in the stock market. And she has taken $125,000 in campaign contributions from those banks. And I'm going to ask Senator Lincoln today to give those contributions back. Go, Bill, go! Go, Bill, go! During Friday's go, debate, Halter drew a large crowd of supporters, leaving Lincoln loyalists scrambling just to put up a few campaign signs. Blanche Lincoln is just one of the many incumbents trapped in a re-election battle during a political season when all things Washington are less than desirable. This is a time when if you're a D.C. insider, or you've got experience, and especially Washington experience, it's a, not an asset. I mean, it's going to really come back and hurt you. Halter's message is simple all right. and one that's now all too familiar. The choice here is simple. You can continue with the same Washington policies or you can vote for change. As for the Republicans, frontrunner Congressman John Bozeman says he's ready to take on any candidate who tries to paint him as a Washington insider. Uh, the American people are rejecting the message that's coming out of the White House. They're rejecting the messengers. We saw this in Virginia. We saw it in New Jersey. We saw it in Massachusetts. And we're going to see it in Arkansas. 